Oh man, it's starting to get pretty wet now. What a beautiful spot. Good day, folks. Uh, so back out here in Daru country, and uh, it's a bit of a race against the weather today. Uh, meant to have rain all throughout the day, and tonight it's meant to get pretty heavy. So yeah, should make things interesting this weekend. Um, but I'm in a totally new area that I haven't really sort of um, bushwalked before, so pretty keen to check the area out. Apparently, there's um, yeah some pretty cool rock formations down there, and a cave I could probably sleep in tonight, which would give me some pretty good protection from this weather. So it's just starting to rain now, so better get a bit of a move on. Yeah, so like pretty much anywhere I've been over the last couple of months, um, this area got affected by the fires at the start of the year and to be honest, they got pretty hammered. Um, a lot of the canopy leaves are just gone, but there is a lot of uh, regrowth, like epicomic growth on the trees, which is great to see. So it should bounce back quite nicely. Um, what I am really enjoying watching is all the new growth coming up from the ground, like all the little gum trees, the wattles, just all the different variety of plants that are in the area. It's really cool to see that the new life coming back out from the ground just goes to show you how uh, well this bushland responds after fire so yeah looking forward to watching it grow over the next sort of year or two what's really cool is this new growth from this gum tree it starts off purple which is really cool it's quite trippy well that rain's starting to close in definitely getting heavier and the hills in the distance uh, can barely even see them so I think I'm going to get pretty wet pretty soon. Oh, 
Oh man, it's starting to get pretty wet now. But man, it's really beautiful hiking in the rain. It's absolutely gorgeous around me at the moment. I don't know how um, this camera's gonna hold up though. <laughs> Well, there's a cave up there, so that's where I'm heading. Oh man, I feel like a drowned mate right now. I'm absolutely drenched. Uh, we're pretty lucky I found this little cave here. It's probably one of the best things about hiking in sandstone country, is there's usually always a cave around. So I'm very glad I came across this. But I think there's a big one just around the corner, so not too far away, so I'll go there pretty soon. I might just hang out here for a little bit and see if this um, decides to blow over or not. But by the looks of it, it's pretty set in. A uh, bit of a shame though, because as soon as it started to rain was as soon as this landscape around me just started to open up and it is absolutely gorgeous around here. It's really beautiful. Like even in the rain, it's just, adds a whole different element to it. It's really nice. Um, just a shame we couldn't really get uh, it's a great footage because the camera was just getting absolutely soaked. And even though the camera's water resistant or waterproof, uh, I don't really want to push it too much. So I hope we get um, some good footage later on. But we'll just hang out here for a bit and um, hopefully this blows over in a bit. That's where my cave was, and then right behind me was this place. Man, that is absolutely incredible. What a beautiful spot. Even in this rain, it gives it kind of that eerie feel, and I'm actually really enjoying it. Apart from the camera getting absolutely soaked, it's actually quite nice being out here in the rain. Put all the mist on the mountains in the distance and yeah, it's just a really beautiful time to be out here. Alright, well, I'm going to go down to the bottom now. I think there should be a cave down there I should be able to sleep in. This is a pretty cool cave. There are a few rocks around, but there's a bit of a flat area here. It's not huge, kind of drops off to the side just there. But it's probably enough to, to lay down and you know, get a decent night's sleep. Or well, there's a spot over here as well, which isn't also isn't the hugest spot. It's kind of a little bit slanted. Yeah, 
also not ideal but it is a pretty epic spot to, to camp so I'm definitely going to keep this option open I'm going to go for a bit more of a wander around and see what else I can find rain's kind of held off now. Man, it's so beautiful out here. I kind of forgot how much I like the bush in the rain. I don't usually hike in the rain very often. But it's just such a lovely, peaceful time. There's so many birds out at the moment and everything is just so lush and green. Especially considering the fire came through here earlier in the year. It's looking really good at the moment. It's just such a lovely day to be out here. Who would have thought? <laughs> in the jackpot. This place is epic. Just uh, such giant rocky monoliths. You really uh, feel small in a place like this. Oh, I'm absolutely loving this spot. This is a really nice place to come and camp. So it looks like we might be getting some visitors pretty soon. It's a bit of a shame. I would have liked to have had this cable to myself, but fortunately, um, you're not always that lucky. So if they do, do decide to come here and camp here, then I might potentially move on and um, see if I can find somewhere else to camp because although it's a massive cave, it definitely accommodates a lot of people. I don't particularly want to be camping next to anyone else. I come out here for my own solitude. I don't really want to be camping. 10 feet away from someone else, so we'll see what happens. All right, so change of plans. Uh, I had a group of about 10 people turn up in that cave, and they were super friendly people, really nice people. Um, a couple of them even watched the channel, which was pretty cool. So I had a good chat to them about the channel, which is cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, I kind of want to find my own cave for tonight. So I might just go for a bit of a scour around the area and see if I can find just a small little cave for me to sleep in. But this rain has started to come back pretty heavily now, so hopefully I can find something pretty quickly. <laughs> coming down now. Um, I think I'm going to have to probably call it for now. I think this is probably going to do me for tonight. It's not ideal. There are some big boulders in the way, but there is kind of a clear space there, which um, I should be able to make work. 
I'm sure there is a better cave somewhere, but I've kind of had a bit of a search and I can't really find anything and it's absolutely pouring down rain and um, yeah, it's quite time consuming to search around each and every possible rock um, outcrop, so I think this might do me for now. And it's a pretty epic view to wake up to as well, so I can't complain about that. Alright, well I'm going to get some of this wet gear off me and um, we'll get camp set up. Yes, yeah, so this is the area I think about sleeping tonight, but it's kind of a little bit slanted, so I've just got a few rocks here. I'm just going to kind of make a bit of a retaining wall. And I sort of like just move some of that um, dirt just to fill in the gaps and hopefully that'll sort of level that area out a bit. Got my ground sheet this weekend. Got my Helicon Tex poncho, um, so that way it doubles as a poncho, but also as a ground sheet. So obviously, I bought my um, rain jacket, but it's always nice just to just chuck a poncho in the bag, and this way it um, has more to uses. Alright, so sleeping next to a swamp, the mozzies here are insane. They're about the size of dragonflies, they're absolutely massive. And usually I don't worry about mozzies too much, they don't seem to bother me, but here, yeah, whole different story. And also, because I'm camping around a lot of broken up rock, um, they seem like perfect hideouts for some decent sized spiders. So, I'm not that keen to get more to life tonight. So what I've decided to do is um, string up the inner bug net of my one man tent, and I've just tied that up to the roof of the cave. Um, and that's sort of will act as a bit of a bug bivy for me tonight and hopefully um, they keep those uh, bugs away. Uh, but for those of you interested, this is my brand new tent that I got the other day, about three days ago, so I haven't even used it yet. The brand's called Weschel and this is an Exogen one. It weighs about 1.5 kilos, so pretty nice and lightweight. Um, I think it's a four season tent as well, so I should be able to use this next year um, when it comes to the snow season. Pretty keen to try and get it out and um, yeah, do a bit of a snow camp. Uh, but yeah, the reason I decided to get a one-man tank, so I haven't really had one before, and some of the places I go, like around here, it's quite rocky, and sometimes it's really difficult to find um, enough soil to drive in pegs or trees to tie off um, to make a tarp shelter. So I've decided to get this freestanding tent just for those times where, yeah, I can't really make a tarp shelter or um, take this along. That is until I get my swag made up. And for those of you guys who keep asking me how this swag is going, it's in production, or no, it's in the sample stage. So we're just getting a sample made up of it from the manufacturer, but it's quite slow going, especially with um, COVID times, everything's sort of just a bit of a mess at the moment. So it's taking a bit longer than expected, um, but hopefully we'll have a sample within the sort of next month or so, and I can get out for some testing, because if I had that swag, it'd be perfect for this location. Um, so yeah, very keen to show you guys that soon. So stay with us, and hopefully I much can show you guys in the next month or two. Um, but yeah, it's about 6 o'clock now, so I'm going to try and see if I can find some firewood. Because I'd like to have a little fire with me tonight. There is a little bit of firewood in here, but not a whole lot, and it's pretty damn wet outside. But I might just go for a little quick walk and see if I can find anything half dry. But I think it's really going to put my um, bushcraft skills to the test um, to try and get a fire going tonight. But we'll see how we go. This wood is soaked, so I'm just going to lay it around the fire and it should dry it out.
Well, if this isn't one of the best looking campsites you've ever seen, I don't know what is. So I think I've uh, outdone myself once again. Honestly, my caliber of campsites just keeps going up and up. This is bloody beautiful. I love seeing it in the rain, but I'd love to come back here on a nice sunset and just sit up here, up here and watch the sun rays light up the, the ridges. I think that'd be pretty special. All right, well, let's get some tucker on now. All right, so for tucker tonight, I'm gonna get a little bit fancy. I'm gonna make some mushroom risotto, but I'm gonna use um, some butter and sage to sort of jazz it up, which is really nice. And then some veggies to go with it. I've got some uh, pumpkin here, some pine nuts, uh, zucchini, and an onion. And just got some oil. Oops. And then, um, yeah, the butter. Oh, and also some parmesan cheese to go on top of it. It's really tasty. Make this at home quite often and absolutely love it. So hopefully you can uh, do it justice out here. Just got some sage here. We'll just chop that up finely. And a nice, very healthy amount of butter. And then just that sage. Last but not least, some pine nuts. Oh, hot, 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 hot. And just some parmesan cheese. And then just top it off with some lemon. Well, there you go. Burnt butter and sage risotto with chargo vegetables and palms and cheese and pine nuts. Who says you can't eat like a king in the bush? And sorry about the hazy image, guys. I've got moisture inside the lens and I cannot get rid of it, eh? Obviously, uh, Having the camera out in the rain all day probably didn't really do the camera a world of good. So hopefully it'll fix itself pretty soon. Oh man. That is bloody delicious. Honestly, that's on par with how um, the missus cooks it back at home. That is really, really nice. I wasn't sure how to go cooking it over the fire now in the bush, but man, absolutely nailed it, eh? This is um, HelloFresh recipe. And for those who don't know, HelloFresh is one of those companies where you sign up and they send you the ingredients and then you cook the recipes yourself. And every one of their recipes is bloody delicious. Eh? This is such a good one. 
really just goes to show you don't have to settle for dehydrated meals when you're out in the bush. As long as you're not hiking like a stupid amount of distance. Um, it's always nice to bring a few little luxuries in and um, cook up something tasty for dinner. All right, well, I'm gonna demolish this. Watch a bit of the bush telly, listen to the frogs, and then I'm um, going to bed pretty soon because it's about nine o'clock, so it's getting a little bit late. So um, I'll catch you guys nice and early tomorrow morning. This rain is well and truly setting for today. I mean, it adds such a beautiful element to the place. I'm really glad I decided to come out here in the rain. When I saw the forecast, I was thinking about canning the trip, but I'm so glad I decided to push through it and come out here because it's such a beautiful place and just the rain adds such a, a lovely, peaceful element to it. As I was sort of laying here last night, um, just before I went to bed, so laying down on my, the mattress, watching the fire, and the flickering light light up the cave walls. And there's enough um, moonlight to sort of just light up the, the ridges a little bit. And then it was such a special moment. It was really beautiful and peaceful. So it really uh, reconnects you to your landscape when you're stripping things back to the basic form and just sleeping on the ground in the cave. It's honestly no better way to camp. It's hands down my favorite way to, to camp. And it really sort of yeah, just reconnects you to the country. And, I know, it's quite a special feeling. Like I was saying yesterday, we're on Daru country. 
And um, you'd have to imagine this place would have been a pretty special place for them. It's just like a little hidden oasis, a paradise just tucked up in the mountains. And, and I'd love to know the, the creation stories for this place. I think it would have been um, yeah, pretty special. It would have held a pretty special meaning to them. You can only imagine them sitting around in their caves, um, around the fire, just telling their creation stories and passing on that knowledge and what I would give to go back in time and just witness it. All right, well, I'm probably gonna start packing down camp now and then um, we'll walk on out of here. This worked really well last night. Such a good little bug bivy.
Man, I'm absolutely gobsmacked by the beauty of this place. Absolutely incredible. So it seems like this little creek here runs down and drops into a canyon and then flows that way. I'd love to go down and have a look at it, but I don't think I can access from this point. I think it drops off quite steeply. I'd have to go right around and drop in the back of this ridge and that's a pretty decent trek and I don't really have enough time. Kind of got to, to, kind of got to get on out of here and also this weather's starting to move in, so I'll have to save that for next time. Man, this is some beautiful country out here. What an incredible place, eh? Unless you feel like you're in Kakadu or the Kimberley or something like that. Such a special place. Um, so I'm gonna wrap up the video here, guys. Um, this has probably been one of my favorite trips I've done in recent times. It's such a beautiful weekend. Even though the weather hasn't been the greatest, it's really sort of added to the experience and I just absolutely loved it, eh? It's been a really nice weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Just want to give a big shout out to all my patrons as well because with your support it sort of helps me to get out here and make more of these kind of videos for you guys so big thanks to all you guys so yeah let's wrap it up here and i'll see you guys in the next adventure Guru.